Hello and welcome to your 14th C++ lesson. Uh, this one is on class member functions. Uh, Alright, so first of all, we're going to just include iostream. We're going to use the standard namespace. I'm going to leave a little gap. And then we're going to have our main function. Pause at the end, you know, the general stuff. Turn zero. Okay, now we're going to create our class, and hmm, what should we do? Let's do um, class takeaway, and just open the curly bracket. And when, remember, when you close it, remember to put a semicolon after to tell it that we finished the class. So we have to, we have a class takeaway, and basically what we're going to do is we're just going to create a couple of functions inside it. So we're going to go void. Um, want uh, noodles? Actually, let's do want wants chicken. I don't know why I'm changing my mind about foods when it's not really important, but oh well. So wants chicken, and we're just gonna say uh, chicken equals true because we're gonna make the variable chicken in a minute, and we can make a couple more of these functions. So void wants chips chips equals true uh, let's do another one void wants fish fish equals true okay so we have our three functions and these are called class member functions because they're functions inside of a class and we have wants chicken and that says chicken to true uh, wants chips, chips are true, fish, fish are true. So now we're going to create those variables. And actually, sorry, when we're doing these classes, we should make them public so we can access them. So let's go bool, chicken, and yep, yeah, same with chips, and the same with fish. Alright, so basically we have a couple of variables that can get switched on if they want them. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our main function and um, we're going to say uh, takeaway because that's our class and we're going to have customer1 and let's just assume that customer1 doesn't want anything until we ask him what he wants so false 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 uh, in fact let's just make a couple of variables for this as well so another true or false value and let's just call it yn1 yn2 oh, I should copy and paste that, it's taking ages to type yn3 oops, there you go, yn3 alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to ask customer1 what he wants so we're going to say uh, see out do you want, what's our first thing, chicken do you want chicken is the question we're going to ask and then we're going to go cn yn1. So we've accepted the value, whatever they're going to say. In fact, let's say, do you want chicken y slash n? So now they know we need to type in either y for yes or n for no. So we've accepted their value, which should be y for yes or n for no. And now we're going to say if yn1 equals equals a uh, small case, uh, lowercase y. Or if y m one equals equals a uppercase y, then we're going to do the following. We're going to say customer one dot wants chicken, and then because we haven't specified any parameters up here, because you can just do these like normal functions. Um, if there are any parameters, we we'll type it in now, but there isn't, so it's just like that. So basically. They said yes and when we said, do you want chicken? So we're going to assume they want chicken, because that's what they said. So customer1 wants chicken. Um, and then, otherwise, we don't need to set... Um, we don't need to set chicken to false up here, because we've already said to false here. As kind of a default thing. And now we're just going to do the same, basically. Let's just copy and paste this whole block of code. Just scroll down. 
do you want what was the second thing? Do you want chips? So do you want chips? Y slash Y slash N. Uh C N Y N two. If Y N two is yes. Uh lowercase or Y N two is yes. Uppercase. Then custom one wants chips. And the same thing with the next one. Which is fish, I believe. So do you want fish? YN, YN3, if YN3 is yes, or capital yes, and customer1 wants fish. Now what we can do is we can go see out, um, in fact, let's just go, and then, because we've, we've asked them all the questions, we know what they want, we're just going to display it now, so we're going to say if, Customer one dot uh, fish equals equals true. Then see out customer one one. In fact, let's just say fish. In fact, I got a plan here. This is going to work a lot better. So I'm just going to format that a bit, and then up here we're going to say see out. Customer one wants. So it's going to say customer one wants. We're not going to end the line. So customer one wants if they wanted fish. I don't know why I'm starting with fish. It's a pretty crazy decision, but oh well. Uh, if they want fish, and it's going to space fish colon. Say. So, in fact, let's copy this. It's a lot faster. And if chips equals true. We'll add chips to the list. No, that's not quite going to work. Oh well, let's just do spaces. Um, add chips to the list. We add chicken to the list. Let me add chicken to the list. And then we can just say. In fact, we need space. This could work. This could work. And I'm just going to see out a full stop for formatting reasons and then end the line okay so let's try that out just click debug okay here it comes do you want chicken uh... yeah i want chicken Oh. okay let's see how this has gone customer... right let's just buy it ah. Why are these balls? That is exactly why. It's completely my fault. It's because I've made these true or false values and I'm typing Y into them. I don't have a clue what they're supposed to do. Let's make them chars since they're only going to hold one letter. Alright, I don't know why I made them um, true or false values. That was very stupid. Okay, now it should work. There we go, right. Do you want chicken? Uh, yeah, I want chicken. Do you want chips? Uh, mm, yeah, sure, I feel like some chips. Do you want fish or not? Customer one wants chips, chicken. Okay. And let's just do some other foods just to show you it does work properly. Do you want chicken? Nah, no, I don't feel like chicken. Do you want chips? Yeah, I want some chips. Do you want fish? Yeah, I feel like some fish. Customer one wants fish, chips. And that is basically how member functions work. Obviously, you can make them do anything, not just kind of set simple true or false values to true or false. Um, and of course you can use parameters as well, which is always great for functions, but uh, this is a very simple, <laughs> strange takeaway program. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you learned about member functions and more about classes. Have a nice day.